hey guys so in today's tutorial I will show you how you can make your own NRF uh, transmitter and NRF receiver and uh, which components you require for this and uh, that's it so first I will uh, transmit um, that sound from my laptop to my this receiver using this module and uh, so this uh, USB cable is actually the power source for this NRF and here we have a aux so here we have our aux cable which is connected to the uh, to my laptop and uh, here I have my receiver and uh, now I will turn it on so you can hear this you can hear that uh, buzzing noise this is because my transmitter is on and if I take out my USB so it will turn off look that means there is no signal and uh, as I put my aux cable back and uh, this USB back to my port the sound will change look and uh, now I'm going to play the song so you can hear it and uh, uh, in previous video I have uh, some kind of uh, this uh, aux female but uh, now I have connected the uh, a mobile phone speaker to it so that uh, we will not require aux and we can directly listen it everywhere without using earphones that's it so you can see the quality of uh, you can listen the quality of uh, its transmission and it's give rain something around 350 meters or 500 meters in open area okay let's come to the uh, its diagram so I have its circuit diagram so you can see that uh, this is the upside and uh, if you see that NRF uh, module in module so you will have this IQ pin MISO MOSI and CSK and these all six pins you have so you what you have to do is that uh, MISO pin will be connected to the 12 MOSI will be 11 and respectively all this uh, will be connected to them to your Arduino or you can use any kind of Arduino the pin numbers will be same uh, for my project I did use the Arduino micro mini pro uh, this one the base pin the base plate is actually Arduino and uh, remember one thing that uh, this module requires 3.3 volts okay and uh, it uh, it can handle up to 3.6 volts and uh, it is prefer not to go above 3.3 volts and you can also see that uh, to get to 3.3 volt uh, actually my um, uh, uh, Arduino mini pro is for 5 volts so I did use uh, this uh, LM7803 for no, LM7833 which gives off 3.3 volts IC so it will convert uh, this uh, it converts this uh, power supply from USB which is a 5 volt to 3.3 volts for my this transmitter so it will not going to burn up and uh, so you have to be remember about this voltage if you exceed your module will be damaged okay and connect ground to the ground and uh, this all pin respectively so this one is a normal module uh, let me show you to uh, your module Okay, this one is a low power module and uh, if you see this kind of module okay so this one is NRF uh, L uh, 0124 some kind of that one module and uh, I also connected a capacitor a disc ceramic capacitor and electrolyte capacitor in between 3.3 and ground so as when it will transmit at a high power level so the power surge will be handled by our capacitor it will give off power at the time of surge okay so these pin to the Arduino are same for both transmitter and receiver what's the difference is them this for receiver what you have to do is your audio source 
must be connected it going to have two port two points so you have to connect one of them to the a0 that is analog pin of arduino and another to the ground and for a get to get a better quality you can use 10 microfarad capacitor in between a0 to your mic or whatever your audio source for mine it is this kind of aux uh, okay so this one is for the receiver all connections will be same and you have to connect it like this audio source will be connected to the a0 and ground okay and for the transmitter what you have to do is that connect d10 and d9 of uh, your Arduino to your speaker directly and put a capacitor in between which will actually filter out the high frequency noise uh, you can use uh, 104 that is 1 nanofarad capacitor here and uh, I use a 50 ohm register so it will not overdrive your uh, Arduino uh, uh, and uh, if you drive it overdrive you connect it directly your microprocess uh, microcontroller will become hotter so this is for the transmitter and receiver and uh, in my description I will upload code but uh, before I will show that code on my laptop so look this code is for the read, to read the data this one is for the receiver so you have to include uh, do search for rf24.h uh, library and spi otherwise it will not work it will show some error and uh, this is rf24 radio we are just uh, uh, this uh, we are defining these two pins for the radio and there you can see that rf24 v radio again this is not your for not for your work and you can uh, set any channels so if uh, your module is interfering with uh, your personal wi-fi network so you can change your channels uh, these modules actually permit us to adjust uh, uh, frequency from 1 to 125 channels and uh, they separates from 1 megahertz and uh, look there is radio set data rf24 250 kbps so you can actually uh, change this thing to uh, like uh, you can change uh, it uh, mm, like in, instead of 250 kbps you can put it like mbp as mbps or you can put it to mbps to increase the quality of your voice you can put uh, uh, instead of 250 kbps on this hole but uh, this much this uh, change this 250 kbps to 1 mbps 1 mbps or you can set it to 250 mbps it will support port and uh, your voice quality will be improved but uh, there is a problem uh, selecting these two is that as you select a more quality that is more data rate you set the less range it will cover okay so that's why i prefer 250 kbps because i want range okay that's it and the sound begin sound read means it, it will begin uh, accessing for the sound uh, start that function and uh, sound read means it will read uh, our data from the transmitter okay and loop so i will put this program on my description and uh, now we will check about our transmitter program so again the two libraries third libraries is also there and the rf24 7 8 uh, this 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 okay look and what's the uh, important thing about you is that there are max so what you can do instead of max you can set your power level uh, what you, there are i think there is four power levels you can put it to low or you can put it to am i uh minimum low minimum or uh, you can put it to high okay so you can instead of max you can put it at low minimum high and uh, again i have to by this you can actually adjust your how much uh, rf power you want it to be out for low range you can put it low for a uh, little more you can put minimum for a little uh, high uh, lesser than high you can put a high and for max range you can put uh, you have to put it at max okay and uh, radio channel is 125 
Remember that the radio channel must be same for both receiver and the, your transmitter. And the radio data says that uh, uh, data rate is 250 kbps. And uh, also remember put the the data rate must be also same for both of them. And that's it. That's all for today. And uh, put this program in both respective receiver and uh, your receiver and transmitter and it will work fine okay i will put this code on my description and uh, that's all for today and if you want some more videos then please do subscribe so i will put more videos and codes and uh, if you want some uh, videos on your your topic you can tell me i will make video on that and uh, that's it thank you for watching